Welcome back to Meta Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm Jeff Rappaport. I'm Graham. Gibbons. What? I'm Alex Bull. <laughs> Very hesitant. Uh, that's cool. Okay. So in the news, Monolith Death Cult are going to release their fourth album. Say Death Cult. No. Called Demo Borgir. Called. Uh, Tetragrammaton? Tetragram? What is it? Tetragrammaton. Like? Everlasting God stuff. Didn't what? a verse of fear have a. What? Yep. Yeah. What? what? Tetragrammaton? Tetragrammaton. Yep. What? Somebody had, a, somebody had that same An title. album. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody had the, uh, the album title? The same. Mm -hmm. The same, the same album, the same album just like a few years yeah. ago, too. Yeah. What was it? A verse of fear. The exact same album title? Exact same album. What does it mean? Some kind of Rubik's Cube shit. I don't know. A cult. Right. It's a Rubik's Cube? No, I don't know. It's just what it makes me think of. It's a puzzle box. Hellraiser? You open the box, you <laughs> get what it come. Anyway. Uh, these guys are, um, <clears throat> were, I, I found them like they were like similar to, in style so to Flesh Out Apocalypse. Yes, but, uh, oh, cool. With like, there was like more keyboards. I don't know. I, I found Monolith uh, more um, brutal. Then I found it more discernible. Like you could tell what was going on more. It was much. It was a much coherent. better. It was a much better version of Flesh Cut Apocalypse. Yeah, it was like a more coherent one. Like you could tell what's going on. It's funny. Then you thought the same thing. They had a real good sense of humor too. Did you see the trailer for their album? It was. It featured. They have a trailer and it's playing and there's a whole bunch of like, clips of reviews. I guess of their last album, but it was all like it was not complimentary at all. It was like saying you know, this is if I wanted to hear other shit, I'll put this album on. It's kind of what it was saying. I was like. Do these guys not understand that these are not good? At first I thought it was like a language barrier, maybe they weren't understanding Yeah, they're having fun. Yeah, I guess Someone's translator fun. hates yeah. them. Yeah. I am like, this is not positive, but they realize what's going on. And I don't think they have any clean vocals. Like, like uh, Flush Cup had clean vocals. Yeah. I don't think they have any at all. I think they're like a much heavier version, and a much better version of Flush Cup Apocalypse. Okay. So, <laughs> I know you don't even like Flush Cup Apocalypse, but you would like this band better than Flush Cup Apocalypse. Right? Sure, absolutely. So if you hate, if you've ever listened to Flesh God Apocalypse and were like, I almost like it, try a model, model. Yeah, you probably will like it. Okay, so what you're saying is, is if you don't like sucking dicks, it'd be like saying, you can either suck this really big dick or a smaller dick. That's right. Better but for you. a huge clip. Yeah. So, Monolith Death Cult is like sucking the smaller dick. <laughs> yes. Because right. yeah. if it's really tiny, well, the AIDS, you, you just survive now. That's true. If you if it's really tiny dick, you just pretend it's a really big clip. I'd rather know that it's a big dick than think that it's a really big clip. Because that, <laughs> <laughs> that is just fucking foul. Well, I thought Flesh God and Apocalypse was okay. And I, I kind of liked Monolith Death Cult. Yeah, a little bit. It was yeah. a bit. I enjoyed their sense of humor. That definitely uh, brightened my day and shined my whiskers, if you know what I'm saying. Congratulations to their good sense of humor, and I wish them luck in their future endeavors. Okay, that's why we have a mile of theft call. Good job, guys. Keep up the good work, and just be better than Flush Cut Apocalypse. That's all we ask. <laughs> and you're doing it. 